BoJack Horseman Season 2 continues to prove to me that it's not only my favorite Netflix show, but it is one of my favorite shows, period, and where BoJack Horseman Season 1 definitely carried this sarcastic humor, had a bunch of puns, a bunch of references all over the place, Season 2 continues to expand that even more. And I would say that if you haven't checked out the show, which deals with a horse who was in a 90s hit sitcom show, and now he's a washed-up actor who's an alcoholic and is just struggling with a bunch of internal problems, it is very much sort of like Archer, a little bit of Bob's Burgers, but it's still a little bit different. Definitely is that adult cartoon and where it's very cartoony because it's a bunch of talking animals. However, this show not only has this amazing sarcastic humor, which I love, a bunch of puns, a bunch of Easter egg type references that are always in the background, which get better with multiple viewings. That alone is amazing. What's even better is that this series is probably the best series and where it has this substance to it where it is the best show I've ever seen that deals with depression. I mean, if you saw season one, you would know that a lot of it built up and where they had a bunch of humor, but they had some serious moments here or there. Then you got episode 11, which is one of the greatest TV episodes of all time or you know Netflix episodes of all time and where it got really deep. And it's that fashion of having something that's so comedic, you know, so just talking animals that can get into scenarios that are really deep and it has a lot of substance to it. I mean, they are not scared to talk about many different things. They did a lot of things in season one. In season two, they tackled things like the whole Bill Cosby type of controversy, different types of scandals, suicides, cults, and they do it in like the most creative way possible. On top of that, besides the two seasons, which are incredible, and the third season, which has been confirmed, they have things like the Christmas special. I believe they might be coming out with a Halloween one, which are hysterical because they're so satirical dealing with a lot of the things that we see in Hollywood today and big time actors and stuff like that, and it pokes fun at them. As for those sort of references that I was talking about, here are just some quick ones. I mean, you have a little shot where a coyote is running after a roadrunner, little jokes like that. I mean, you have little references like Lucille Ball, you have Marlon Brando, Jake and Maggot Gyllenhaal, Mice Krispies, U-Haul, Famished Famished Hippos, Parrot Mount, That One Dress, Moodorola, A Pandamine, A Pool Shark. There's even a joke that extended from season one, which I love because they keep a continuity with it and where a D was missing in the first season. Well, it's not only missing in the second season, but even Netflix pokes a little fun of that missing D. And a bunch of other references that not only extend from season one and carry on, which I adore, but a bunch of other things that we see in our everyday lives or stuff just dealing with social media. So it's definitely worth the watch, not only because it's funny, it's humorous, but more so because of the substance that it has with it. And it ends in a very interesting way because it's a line that was set in the first season towards the end and here they just twist it around and they make it a little bit more hopeful. Either way, it's on Netflix both seasons as well as all the extra little stuff that they have on there and it's definitely worth the watch. It not only has a great voice cast with Will Arnett, Allison Brie, Aaron Paul, but you have a bunch of cameos that actually come in to voice themselves as well like Paul McCartney and Daniel Radcliffe so it's definitely worth the watch and when you do watch it, definitely let me know down below what your favorite part is, who your favorite character is and what you thought about it as a whole. We can discuss it down below in the comments. Can't wait for season three and until then i'll see you guys next time